good chilly morning. It's 46 degrees out. I think the clouds are gonna burn off today and we're gonna have some sunshine. We haven't seen that in a little while. We are lucky and we still haven't gotten a frost yet, which is awesome. Our frost is like six weeks late. I like it. We haven't had any freezing temps yet, so I don't see any in the forecast. So we're going to find out. All I know is I'm enjoying it. What do you think of the spray foam? It looks so much different being one color. I'm right. excited that it's done. Maybe we can put some stuff in here now. If Maybe. It's not getting organized. We're going to have to sheath all the walls and we can build workbenches. We can do some wiring, sheath the walls. We're going to get the solar components installed inside. That'll be next week. Today we need to work on getting our other 10 solar panels mounted on this wall. Well, nine, because we don't have 10. Right, <laughs> we have nine. The 10th one is coming. We got one broken one. So that should probably be here, I think, any day now because they did already ship it out. We're just waiting to get a phone call saying, hey, we got it. So we'll see. But yeah, we got to get our racking mounted on this wall outside. So there's two different reasons we're mounting our solar this way in this building. So over at the house, we have a solar array ground mount, which works pretty good, but we still have to clear the snow off. So I'm kind of curious to see if we have it on the roof I know we're gonna have to clear the snow off, but the panels are all black, even the frame. So I'm hoping by having that, when we get sun, it'll come off. We're gonna find out. We're also gonna melt, we're also gonna melt. We're also gonna mount 10 vertically at a 90 degree angle on this wall. And there's two thoughts for that. They'll never get any snow on them. And in our winter time, the 90 degree angle is pretty much what you need to be. I think it's like 80 or 80 something percent to get maximum solar gain. So by having them mounted on the wall, we'll have maximum solar. This is self, so the sun's always right here. So they'll always be in the sun as long as the sun is out and they'll never get snow on them. So that's just shy of 4,000 watts of solar that we'll have on that wall. So it'll be interesting to see how all of it works. I guess we didn't do too bad. I guess Al didn't do too bad because I don't see any foam squishing out on the tops, so. No, Did I you expect seen, the whole thing? From what I can tell, I walked around and I haven't seen any foam coming out of anywhere. So the packing tape, which a lot of people said wasn't going to work, did work. I did see that someone said it might have like a chemical reaction or something and maybe melt, but... If it did, it didn't melt fast enough. I looked all the way around the back and the sides and I did not see any spray foam coming out anywhere. So that is awesome. And I don't know that it would come out the bottom. Um. If there's a big enough gap, they would have. So I did okay then? Yep, you did go with the rocks wool. Rocks wool. It is rock better. wool, but it sounds, it sounds better, better rocks, rocks wool. wool. So I'm just gonna keep calling it rocks wool instead of rock wool. I have not seen our moose friends today. Maybe they moved on. Maybe they'll be back. I don't know, that was kind of neat. Seeing them right there. It felt like we had a little moose farm. All right. I had to order more feet. That was a fiasco. Feet it was fiasco. a fiasco, but we got the feet we needed. The nice thing about putting the panels or the solar array up this time is we'll be able to show you guys more in detail what we're doing. These feet I like because they have a nice butyl, which is a waterproof sealant, and they're sticky. So take off that, stick it on there, and it'll stay. And then we're using these screws, which are a quarter inch with a 3 8 head. They're made by the same company that makes these brackets for mounting everything. They make a screw and it's got a heavy duty rubber washer. So you got a waterproof sailor here and then you got it here. So I can't see these ever leaking. So this is one left over. Try to put everything together. So the brand of these feet, these ones are called, I think, yeah, the model of this is Solar Foot. They make a bunch of different ones for different metal roofing and for shingle roofs. And the name of the company is S5. I'm really impressed with these brackets. 
And then we're using the Tamarack racking system. These are some extra brackets. These are our clamps. So we'll mount this on the roof, or actually, in this case, on the wall, and then we'll take our bracket, put it in, tighten it down, and then our racking system will go into this groove, and the racking will go here, and then we can put our solar panels on top of the racking, and then these are our clamps that'll slide in. I'll open that box in a minute and hold your panels on. So there's that, that, this is all the screws. Let's do this. Hopefully they gave me enough nuts. I'm gonna count them. It should be 30. So two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 31. And then I put an extra foot in there and then I had an extra nut. All right, so that works. So I have found this racking system to be a lot more user friendly than the one we did for our ground mount. You got the rails and you had to purchase everything separately and there's just so many different parts and pieces. There still is with this one, but it comes as a kit. So everything you need comes other than these feet. These you got to get separate and the screws, but the rest of the racking system has everything in it. And I found that really convenient. Having to find all my parts and pieces because we had to reorganize everything for the spray foam. That's a lot of staples. Yeah, they're wicked hard to open. <laughs> Jeez. And they've reinforced a lot of the areas where the staples were, were more cardboard. <laughs> I'm thinking they don't want their black rails getting scratched. All right, so we have our ground clamps. These go on the end of a channel and you run your ground wire in. These clamps, you can run in the end of the channel and then they go underneath the panel. So that way when you're looking at the very edge of your solar panel, you don't have one of the black clamps showing. You don't see anything. These are nice. And then module clamps. I think these are the regular solar panel clamps. So if you didn't use one of these that was hidden, you'd have this sticking out on the end where if you have this, it goes inside and then you put a cap on the end so you don't see anything. Just gives you a cleaner look. I want to thank Mary Roos for sponsoring today's video. Right now, if you click on the link in the video description down below and use promo code MROLUMNA, you'll save 20% off any Mary Roos product at Mary Roos website or on Amazon. Click the link in the video description down below. Mary Roos has become a really good part of my nighttime routine. I take my quercetin and I take my nighttime extra strength 
multi-mineral. This helps me sleep really well at night. Ever since I started taking this, I sleep like a baby. Ask Gina, I, my head hits the pillow and I am out. Sometimes she doesn't like that because she wants to talk and I'm already passed out sleeping. Corsetin helps with inflammation, so I take one tablespoon of corsetin. Best part is they taste good too. Mm. And then my favorite, the liquid nighttime multi-mineral. I really never knew too much about minerals until we started getting livestock and we found out how important that minerals is with livestock. So it just makes sense that it's the same for us. So the best part about the nighttime one is I take it and when I'm sleeping, my body remineralizes, I sleep great and I wake up feeling refreshed. Mm. This one is the Lemonade Dream and it tastes delicious. I want to thank Mary Roos for sponsoring today's video. If you guys want to try any of Mary Roos products, click the link down below. They make over a hundred different products. They're non-GMO, they're vegan, they're organic. They have products for all ages, for adults, for kids, for infants. There's so many different products that they make. I can't list them all. So if you guys want to check it out, click the link in the video description down below and use promo code MRO LUMNA and get 20% off any Mary Ruth's product either on their website or on Amazon, which makes it really convenient. Thanks Mary Ruth for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get on with the project. All right. So the solar panel lines up with this inside of this rib. I can put a foot here. And then we'll skip two feet, do another foot. And I want to go a foot over. And the panel's like 70 something. So it'd be like there. For two? The panel. So we'll go a foot there, and then we'll do a foot there. The five foot mark and we'll keep it down like that because that'll keep the shadow good you better keep your tractor and stuff away from this wall i know you'll be breaking it Sheesh. your shower caps worked perfect for covering up the lights and keeping all the overspray off of them so they came in handy i can bring them back inside and put them in the shower for you if you want you have quite a few of them still to use those are actually were sent to me to make bread dough pizza dough and they do work great for that. So when you go ahead and need stuff to rise, you put it over, set a plastic wrap, it's awesome. But now it looks like I have that many less. Yep. So I'm not putting that on my pizza now, no. or my bread. We don't want that in our bread dough. No, so. But you could use them in the shower if you need them. Or you could. Nah, I'm good. Right. So we're gonna be here and here with our racking. And we have to go there. We don't have any adjustment there because we have our girts at a set location. That's the only place we can screw into. So that'll work. That's how we did it up above and it worked out well. I'm just gonna do the same thing down below. They look nice up there. 120 and a half. 62, uh, 72 inches and a half. We got the new Milwaukee chalk line. Thank you who sent that. You were very excited. I was. I like that the color is not blue. It's red. It's different. It wouldn't make sense if it was blue chalk. Not from Milwaukee. Yeah, let's pull it. I'm not. It does. Okay, ready? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. You tight? So this is going to go right here, like so, and the first foot, okay, so we can go on that one, and then 
this one. Okay. We'll go right here. They go in easier on the roof because you can put complete down pressure. We're doing it on the wall, you kind of not getting as good pressure. Super convenient how they just stick on there. Yeah. I like that. If you make that face, does it make it go any easier? It does. All right, I'm gonna mount the brackets. I wanna mount them this way because that'll keep the rail down another two inches versus if we go this way. If we go this way, it'll be higher. This way, it'll be a little bit lower. Do that. The fun part. Yeah, trying to get this up. Once I get a system figured out, it'll be fine. You also have that one twisted in the middle. Yeah, so I said this would be the fun part is getting it all figured out. You know what I still haven't seen yet? I haven't seen any geese flying by. So I don't think the geese are flying south yet. Huh. It means warm weather's still here to stay, I guess. Let me get this one locked in place and then. All right, that one's done. We gotta figure out the spacing for our next one's over. It's gonna be a very interesting experiment to see how these solar panels do, but I think they're gonna do really good this winter, being at this angle and really won't be able to get any ice on them or snow. These sit in, is there's grooves. If you put the backside in first, and then put the top in, and then you tighten this up. And you can still slide it, as long as it's not too tight. So let's do that. I almost forgot our splices. These will connect everything together.
keep seeing me flip these feet around. I'm trying to keep all of the wording right way up. Gonna have to run a string and get that nice and straight. I don't know if you can see that, but it goes in and then back out. So we'll string that, make sure that's nice and straight. There we go, we'd be making more solar. Sheesh. All right, last two. Let's just get them all set up. A bump out there and one back there. So I'm gonna loosen these up. Oh, let's see what we can do. I'm not sure why I need to get straightened out like that, but the bottom one's done. So I decided I want to do some fish tacos tonight, so I'm going to go ahead and make a coleslaw. And I'm going to go ahead and make a fish taco sauce, but I'm going to see if I like it. And then if I do, I'm going to go ahead and put that on um, this coleslaw mix and also save some aside. And I'm going to do sour cream. When I don't make my own mayo, I really do like the Chosen brand. I find that it's a lot, it's got a good flavor. And I like stuff that's made with avocado oil. Garlic powder, wine. We do not like anything really spicy or hot, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of sriracha to see Taste it. Taste test. See what it tastes like. As you could tell, this time of day, the sun is coming through the garage doors. So I'm just moving over here so that way you can see a little bit better. So my coleslaw dressing is just a little bit of maple syrup, a little bit of lemon juice, a splash of apple cider vinegar, and then mayo. My mess. I usually do more than this, but I'm just doing a little half batch because I don't have that much. I don't want to make a whole bag of coleslaw. For this, I just take it, put a lid on it, and shake it up. Just dump it on. I like to do anything with a coleslaw. I like to do it a little bit ahead of time before so it has time to kind of sit in there and marinate. So I am going to fry my fish and I'm going to do it in avocado oil on the stove top. This is about to get real messy in here. So I'm just going to take them and dip it and put it in my oil. And fish cooks super fast. So just gonna make sure I turn it and pay attention. If you're gonna do it really good, you want your oil deep so that it just does both sides. I'm just gonna go ahead and flip it because I only used a little bit of oil.
Dear Lord, thank you for a wonderful day. They look so pretty. They look 